Can you describe what community immunity is or herd immunity? Yeah, so the great thing about the measles vaccine in particular is that it is super effective. So people who have had two doses, and usually the first dose is at one year-ish, and the second dose is around age four to six. And so for people who have had those two doses, 97% of those people are protected. They will not get measles even if they're exposed. But there's always gonna be a tiny fraction of people that doesn't respond typically to the vaccine. And what we talk about in that community immunity is that we need a certain threshold of people to be vaccinated in order to prevent epidemics and really widespread outbreaks like we're seeing right now in Washington state. Doctors say 90 to 95 percent of the population should be vaccinated to successfully protect the community. That includes the sick and elderly. But what's frustrating to scientists and doctors are unfounded fears that keep people from getting immunizations. So any vaccination, like any medication, can have a side effect or a complication. They are incredibly rare. Measles vaccine in particular is very safe, as are all the vaccines that we give to children. So the typical rate of vaccine, true vaccine complications is something like 1 in 10 or 11 million doses. It's very rare, depending on which vaccine and what type of complication we're talking about. I think there is just so much misinformation out there, and it's so hard for people to know what to believe. But what I would say is that we really need to rely on facts and science, and we know that vaccines are safe. Doctors get vaccinated, we vaccinate our own kids. You know, we really believe in this as the best way to protect our community and ourselves. Is there any scientific evidence linking vaccines to autism or other disorders? Scientists and physicians and pediatricians have looked so hard for a link between vaccines and autism to make absolutely sure that there isn't one, and we have found zero evidence of that. I mean, when we look at kids who've been vaccinated and who haven't, the rates of autism are the same in both populations. When we look back at home videos of kids that have autism, we see signs of that even before their first birthday, before they even get the MMR vaccine. So I think we have incredibly clear evidence that that these vaccines are safe, that they are not linked to autism, and that parents really should feel comfortable in taking their pediatrician's recommendations. It should be noted that in 1995, the Lancet Medical Journal published a study that indicated a casual connection between vaccines and autism. As you can imagine, there was huge concern from the public. So over the next 12 years, scientists from multiple respected institutions have done exhaustive research and they have found no evidence of a link between vaccines and autism. In fact, later in 2004, it was found that the author of the original study, Dr. Andrew Wakefield, was paid by attorneys seeking to sue vaccine manufacturers. The Lancet formally retracted their paper in 2010. For HealthLink, I'm Amity Adrisi.